Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I was out the other day, uh, you know, taking care of some errands, and on my way home, I found a weed whacker, and it was free. So I stopped, and I was looking at the weed whacker, the owner of the house, I guess, came out, and he says to me, he said, you can have the weed whacker. It did work at one point in time, but I have not started it since. Because I went to Lowe's or Home Depot or something, he said, and he bought a brand new weed whacker, so he didn't need this one anymore. So, let me show you. Alright, so here is the weed whacker. Okay, it's a uh, gas trim, uh, gas weed whacker line trimmer. It's a, I uh, hope you can see that, 32cc. And this is a 40 to 1 uh, gas and oil. Alright. Um, the... Fuel tank, the fuel tank looks to be in um, good condition. There's no cracks in it or nothing for what I can see. All right, see, for what I can see, there's no cracks in it or nothing at all, which is nice. And the throttle the throttle cable. So if you could see, uh, if you could see right, right at the tip of my finger right there, okay, right there. All right, so I'm, I'm hitting the throttle right here, right where my thumb's doing. See, it, it, it does work, which does work, which is nice because um, most of the time when people throw out weed whackers, the throttle is really hard, and usually um, usually it's an, an, an indication that the uh, throttle cable is either stretched, damaged, or the uh, carburetor itself on the outside as well as the inside is all gummed up. So, but by me, by me uh, hitting the throttle, as you saw, it seem, hopefully it seems to be, uh, sounds to be, seems to be good. All right. So, uh, let's see here. Oh, okay. That's weird. All right. I'll, let me shine a light on this. Looks like, the, it looks like there is uh, some type of a nest behind this uh, green cover here. Look at it. A whole bunch of stuff comes out. You see, you see that? Look at that. Oh, the spot. Oh, look at that Ian goes. Boy, boy, that Ian take off. So, all right. So, apparently, there is some, there is something behind this uh, green cover, like I mentioned. Some type of a nest. Uh, it could be ant nest, mole nest, or something, whatever. So, we'll have to address that. All right. So, the uh, spark plug wire seems to be in good condition. Nothing, nothing seems to be majorly wrong with it, which is nice. So let me see if I can pull the spark plug boot off. Oh, okay. So it comes off the inside. I know. I don't think you can all see that. All right. But it. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. So so the sorry. There it is. So the inside. The inside of the spark plug boot looks to be good. Uh, spark plug don't look to be too bad. But then again, I have to uh, take the spark plug out in order to see the uh, the electrode of it and see what condition that's in. So I put that back on for now. All right. And it says uh, important engine information. Um, okay. So this label is really old because uh, it says um, family, I guess, displacement, serial number, model number. All that is pretty much gone. I mean, it is. I mean, it's rub, rub my finger on it. All right. Let's see here. Okay, no, no, actually. Oh wow. Another another ant just came flying out of it. Oh, got that ant. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want those ants in my house. Okay. Alright, so right here. Alright, so it's a, a displacement is a 32 cc. The serial number, it's hard to it's hard to see the serial number, the model number as well. I mean I could probably take a magnify I could probably take a magnifying glass. Whoops, sorry about that. Um I could take a magnifying glass to this and uh and when I edit this video and I post it, I will put the uh the model number, displacement, and uh, the information and put it in the description box below this video. So that way you all can um you know see it. So if anybody has this type of weed whacker, maybe you know, maybe you guys can put a comment down below, maybe something that I don't you know, because I don't know really pretty much nothing about this weed whacker. So uh all right, so let, let's look at the rest of it and go from there. All right, so I'm gonna undo the uh, the gas cap here. All right, so the 
the gas the gas uh the gas cap don't look doesn't look to be in too bad a shape but the o-ring uh the rubber o-ring that's right up over here is um there we go the, the rubber o-ring up down i don't know if you can see that right there it's cracked so it looks like the o-ring's got to be replaced on this and this is what the inside looks like it's all a little just a little bit gunked up but nothing too major i don't think so i put this back on all right all right now we are in the back of the weed whacker here uh this is starting instructions right there um it looks like there uh, it looks like that there was a primer bulb here but the primer bulb's missing so we got off choke full uh half choke and we got full uh full choke right here so this okay so th this little i guess metal uh little switch here doesn't seem to be frozen or nothing seems to be good all right now let's take off the back cover okay so it's a little tab right here you push the tab in like i'm doing right there see, try and do it so you all can see it all right right push that in and it oh there it goes it comes off the show okay so the, so that so this the this the butterfly valve right there. All right, so let me. All right, so see. Okay, so that does work. And here is the air filter. Air filter is destroyed. So it looks like. All right. So it looks like I'm going to be either making uh finding another air filter like this because it. Oh, all right. So here's the other piece right here. The other piece is uh, is right is right there. So it looks like that goes in this section right here. Okay. All right. So it looks like a new air filter is going to have to be put on. So let's put that right like that. Bring that over and okay. Now now it's not going on. Okay. Try it again. Boom and oh, there it goes. Okay, I just have to. I had to lift up on the, the uh, cover a little bit to pop it in place. Okay, so that's that. So now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to pull start this a little bit, just a little bit to see if it's okay. I don't know if you can hear that. So it does. So it feels like it's got good compression. Let me take this off the table set it right here and get my light here so y'all can see right there so okay so oh, okay so we got a looks like we got a so we got a, a little switch here top says off bottom says on so right now it's on okay so so this must be to stop the weed whacker this must be to kill it okay so you bring it up and he kills it bring it back down to run it i'm gonna see what happens <laughs> All right, so it, so it sounds like it's got compression. Um, actually, sounds like it's got really good compression. Yeah, man, this stuff, this stuff. Oh, man, this thing's got ants all over inside of it. I think that's what it's got. I think the, I think the, I think, uh, oh, there's another one. I just throwing them in my house. Oh, one. <laughs> Been killing ants. Um, I just think that, Yep, there's another one right there. Because oh. yeah, the, the, these type of ants are big. Shoo, boy. What are these bandies? These ants are like all over. Look at it. It's all coming out. So I think what I did is I, I kind of ticked them off a little bit because I've been moving the weed rock as you've been seeing. Oh, there's another one right there. So it's it out. Boom. Done. All right, so at least so at least I know so at least I know that that works. So let me put this back up here. Actually, I'm gonna put this, turn it around a little bit. I want to try not to. Sorry about that. I want to try not to move this uh, move this back up, but uh, like move it around anymore because I really don't want no more ants coming out. And if there is, then they're gonna be 
all in my garage, and I don't want that because they look, they they either look like carpenter ants or wood or wood ants, and both are not good. All right, so now we're gonna now we're gonna look at the uh, head of the weed whacker here. Okay, so it looks like it's uh, all right. So it looks like it's it's dude. The, this one right here, look, look, this one, uh, this head looks different than the one that I found a long time ago because it's got two two strings on each side, as you can see. And yeah, it's weird how that is. Guard's a little uh, rusted, but nothing too major. Okay, I mean it doesn't. It it seems to be turning. All right, so no, it's gonna turn this way. Okay. All right, so so it does it does turn. Okay, so let me see something here. Okay, so the shaft, the 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 shaft, the the metal. Um, uh, I guess what you call it, like a bendable type um, uh, gear. I guess what you call it, it goes that goes from the uh, that goes from here, like you know, here it hooks to the motor all the way down. All right, it goes up in here. It seems to be turning good because yeah, it seems to be turning. So that tells me it's not frozen or nothing at all. It actually sounds really good. It just could use a little lube, but otherwise that's about it. Okay, this right here seems to be good. A little rusted out the, um, the, uh, like a clamp type thing here. See, it's rusted, but it seems to be good. Yep, it'll be good. Uh, what's this say? Uh, push and hold. Okay, so it looks like a little, uh, like a little button to, or like a little button down here. All it says is push and hold. For what reason I don't know, but we'll find that out. So yeah, so otherwise, uh, you know, that's that's pretty much about it. You know, the the switch is a little stiff, uh, stiff. So which means I might have to open this, up, might have to open it up, and spray a little um, like um, electrical contact in here to uh, free it up a little bit. But we'll see. All right, yeah. Oh, uh, and uh, says for questions regarding this product, call one eight hundred two three five. Five eight seven eight. Um, don't know if the head. Don't know if this. Uh, play, uh, don't know if that number exists. So all. I mean. So all overall, it doesn't seem to be. It doesn't seem to be a. Um, doesn't seem to be a bad weed whacker. But I won't know until I get more in depth with it. I'll take the spark plug out. Um, well, first I'm gonna do some uh, Google research on it. But which means I have to get the uh, the model number. Uh, get the model number off this. Type the model into, type the model number into Google and see what comes up. And you know, like what the like what the uh, what the gap in the spark plug is. Um, even though it's, uh, cave that, and then the oil ratio, which is shouldn't be that difficult with that. So yeah, so this so this is what it is. This is what I got for free. You know. So I mean, like I said, don't seem to be too bad. So we'll have to do uh, more up. We'll have to do more videos on this. Uh, one to, uh, like I said, to check the spark plug, um, air filter. I'm not too much worried about it right now. I just want to see if it runs. But first, as first, I just want to show you all what I found. And um, so obviously there'll be a part two of this video, and then we'll go from there. All right. All right, everybody. So. That's uh, so that's that's pretty much the showing of this gas weed whacker line trimmer that I got for free. Yeah, like I said, clean it up and sell it, make a profit. So, all right, folks, that's it. So, if you I hope you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Um, so, like, comment, share, subscribe. See you on next video. Peace.